On Thursday, a group of residents from the affected areas of Lake Albert Shores, led by their Member of Parliament, Barnabas Tinkasimire, appeared before the Parliamentary Committee on Physical Infrastructure. He can go there, he begins thinking of it, he begins to go, this one, then he tells them, I'm going to compensate, no. Let us do our part as a committee, let us do our role that you can and they expect us to do. The meeting between the committee and the residents was called to address the indiscriminate land evictions by a one Willie Ramojo, a renowned businessman. He heard the atrocities being committed by those people on the ground. And they have agreed they are going to go on the ground and they will not tolerate that nonsense of, uh, of the so-called power. The aggrieved residents from Lake Albert Shores in Daiga sub-county told the committee, chaired by Tony Awanyi, that over 10,000 residents have so far suffered eviction by businessman Willie Ruamojo. Willie Ramojo alone took ownership of about 12 square miles of land on Lake Albert with the help of some Kagadi leaders. In the heat of political campaign, he agreed with them that he was going to give them some money. And instead of them waiting for the president, of the money they agreed such that he pays them, some of them started selling these land titles. They sold them to rich people, powerful people like Ruamos. The affected residents are from the landing sites of Kamina, Kabokanga, Revigongoro, Chitebere and Ndaiga. The victims also accused some people in some security agencies for aiding the businessman to torture and shooting of some residents. The vice chairperson parliamentary committee on physical infrastructure, Tony Awani, comforted the victims and promised to summon all those implicated in land grabbing, including Kagadi district leaders and security agencies among others. However, in a phone interview, businessman Willie Ramojo, Roger Zinquenzi and LC5 chairperson denied the allegations levied against them.